Hi, I'm Terry Tucker, author of Sustainable Excellence, 10 Principles to Leading Your Uncommon and Extraordinary Life. Welcome to another edition of Sustainable Excellence Extras. Today, I'd like to talk with you about identifying, living with, and overcoming our personal weaknesses. Lord Nelson, England's famous naval hero, suffered from seasickness throughout his entire life. Needless to say, the man who destroyed Napoleon's fleet did not let it interfere with his career. He not only learned to live with this personal weakness, but he also conquered it. Most of us have our own little seasicknesses as well. For some, it may be physical, for others, psychological. Usually, it's a private war carried on quietly within ourselves. No one will pin a medal on us for winning it, but nothing can dim the satisfaction of knowing we did not surrender. Most of you are aware that I have been waging my own war against cancer for the last 10 years. That war has seen battles fought that caused me to have my foot and my leg amputated, and I'm still being treated for tumors in my lungs. By most accounts, I should have been dead long ago. Every year, the tumor board of the hospital where I was initially treated for my disease sends me a letter and asks me to circle one of three choices as it pertains to my health. Choice number one is alive and cancer-free. Choice number two is alive but with cancer. And choice number three is dead. I look forward to receiving that letter every year because it allows me to let myself and those who initially treated me know that I am still alive and fighting this disease. Remember, as long as you don't quit, you can never be defeated. Please head over to motivationalcheck.com to get your daily dose of inspiration and motivation. Thanks for watching. And I'll see you next time.